Hello everyone, welcome to the Stoke Haunted Facebook page. Um, I'm just going to do something a bit different today. Um, I've been granted a short recce uh, around Saturday's investigation venue. Now, I'm currently here in one of the offices. I'll take you outside and show you um, where we are. Staff are on lunch at the minute, so it's quite quiet. Okay, here at The place is called JCP and we've been asked to investigate several claims of paranormal activity that's going on here. So we'll be coming this Saturday through the night to see what we can get, hopefully get some good evidence. I'll, uh, I'll just give you a quick um, tour around the building so that you can see where we'll be coming. So through there is the warehouse. Now we're not going to go in there for obvious reasons, health and safety and there's a lot of stock in there so we're just going to come through here and there is an admin office. Okay, we're just going to go upstairs. And I'm told this is just a storage junk room where rubbish gets thrown and you know, we've, we've all got one of them. Um, right, we've got this office here also. Now these are not in use by anybody at the minute at all, so. Very old fashioned and very uh, run down. <laughs> this is um, just a file storage room. So, yeah, now up here uh, is where most of the activity, reported activity, comes from. And this is the area where a few cleaners have seen fully formed spirits and ghosts. One of them actually left the job on the day because they saw a man standing in the corner of the room looking out of the window. So. Let me just go up here, toilet door there. Now you can see a really old blackboard that looks out of place. Short corridor, I'm told that leads to the fire exit, so we won't go down there, but we'll go in here. Wouldn't it be great if I caught a ghost on camera now just walking around? <laughs> um yeah, this is just a again another file storage area and looks like somebody comes in here to have a mental breakdown or something a radio and a spare chair <laughs> right so yeah if we go back out there and back to the main corridor now we'll have to be quiet because this office here you can see um that's where the, there's workers in there and they're doing their work so I won't take in there. Um, we've got a toilet here and then here is the kitchen. Okay, now this is currently being um, refitted, they've ripped everything out and few months ago and since then they've had quite a few strange occurrences so maybe it's because of the decorating or moving things around that's disrupted something who knows but uh, yeah and if you look over here this is what the staff found when they were moving I don't know if you can see that written on this table um, somebody's attempted to make their own Ouija board and they don't know anything about it. Some of the staff have been here about 20 years and they don't know anything about that why it's there. It's been hidden under a, a bench that was used to keep the microwave on. So I don't know, we'll see. And we'll just carry along, carry on along the corridor. This is the boss's office so I'm not going to disrupt him. 
Okay, we've just got a looks like the shredder room. And here we've got the storeroom. More files, tea, coffee, every workplace has or should have. And then finally here is another office. Now this lady's not in it. Um, but this is usually a working office. So that's our venue of this Saturday. Stay tuned and you'll see our investigation, see what we catch, see what happens. And yeah, uh, I was lucky enough to get this little recce whilst the workers, the, the staff are on a lunch break. So thank them for that and hopefully we'll have some answers for them after the investigation. Thanks guys.